Yo, man, what's good? This your boy, King of Travel, man. Back in the building again, man. About to do this interview with this brother. Man, I'm going to tell you something, man. This brother here deep now. <laughs> I didn't know he was deep like this, but this brother's awoken. But you know what? We're going to speak about today, man, because one of my friends from America, you know what I'm saying? She asked me to do something, so we're going to speak on this topic, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? She she definitely loved the videos and stuff we putting out, but she, she wants us to get more in depth on a few things. So this is what she said. She said, great topic for your video last night. I think it would help in the future on your relationship videos as a man and a world traveler who doesn't stay in one place too long to clarify what type of relationship you are pursuing from a woman. Be it a one night stand, sex or only short term due to traveling or long term leading to marriage. I personally think that open honesty at the beginning of a relationship can dispel any unrealistic expectations. Good stuff, bro. Man, you already know, man. Big shout out to TK. Number respect. So I got this brother in here that we're going to get on this topic and we're going to get down to the to the nitty gritty on this and, and, and we'll go from there. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel, man. Welcome to Off the Beaten Path with the King of Travel. Welcome to Worldwide Traveling Off the Beaten Path News with Mr. Midas, the World Traveler, a.k.a. the King of Travel. Interviews with people with real experiences. Hey, let's talk about the reality we face, huh? And get out of the fantasy. Well, this could get a little controversial then. <laughs> What's up, my brother? So, man, yo, listen, man. So, I'm going to give you the flow, man. TK, you know, is a good friend of mine from the United States and and she, you know what I'm saying? You know, I basically, she she want to know the input of, of relationships, the way we travel, because you do the same thing. So you break it down to her, man. Um, so, honestly, I have experience with all of them, right? All of the different aspects. Um, so for y'all who don't know, I'm actually 30. So when I first started traveling, I was in my, my early 20s. And, you know, early 20s, I was, you know, getting my thought on. So... When I was traveling, it was kind of, you know, most about one night stands and everything. And as we know, it was in Europe. So, you know, that was a, you know, it's a, it's a whole culture for that, just like it is in America. But um, on the flip side of that, I completely agree with her because it is all about, you know, you being up front with them and coming to that mutual understanding. Which, again, how fast I come to that mutual understanding with them is twice as fast as in America. Now, American women, I, I, I see the comments, okay? <laughs> I'm not saying that this doesn't exist in America. I'm just saying that it's a faster process outside of America. It's like uh, getting, I don't know, you get your car detailed. If, if I come in there with mud and shit on my car, the detailer is going to be like, hey, bro, $60, we'll get it done in an hour. Oh, I said that backwards. I, I said that backwards. I meant... Uh, all right, so let me clarify that because I kind of said that backwards. So my example was, you know, let's say if you're going to get your car detailed and let's say, you know, I just got a little dust on my car. I haven't washed it in two weeks. I take it to the detailer. He's going to be like, hey, 60 bucks. We'll get it done in an hour. Versus if I pull up to the detailer, ain't been, it hasn't been washed in a month. I got mud and shit all along. He's going to look at it. He's going to overcharge and be like, hey, bro, first I'm going I'm to say $80 and then it's going to take an extra two hours because, you know, it's a whole process. So that's... Basically, what I'm saying is, it's just more layers to it in America. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just telling you my experience. So, y'all don't, don't chop my head off. I'm not no Kevin Samuels. I'm just giving just you my it real. perspective. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'm just telling you what I see. Maybe it'll help somebody. So, uh, so as far as me. So, so, so okay. flag on the plate before you go any further. Do okay. you think that the reason, because the last video, you know, I see some people... I guess they took it the wrong way, but okay. do you think it's because they haven't experienced too much of understanding the of being out these countries and and seeing what life is like? Like that's why, because I, I don't look at it so much as downgrading American women. And listen, man, I'm gonna come back on this too. I don't downgrade y'all women in America. Have some great women in America. Don't get it twisted, but it's just a little harder for a lot of people and a lot of a lot of men is going through this in America and they know they're going through it but they're not going to say nothing cuz so, we're just going to endure just like men have done thousands thousands of years ago you won't hear us com really complaining we're just going to adapt to the situation and just do our best with it um 
Yeah, I, I agree with you. Say with what you're saying, and I I've seen the comments about like some people saying, you know, it's great women in America, and and we bashing them and stuff like that. that that's really not the case. In a way, I kind of I kind of take that with a grain of salt because if you haven't really been outside of the country, you really don't have a dog in this fight. Like, you don't know what you don't know. So I'm not gonna fault you for that, you know. But you just have to see it for yourself, and that's all this video is about is just trying to get you to understand that it's just more options. It's more to it than what you see. It's all, like, like I said in the other video, you got to get out of the fishbowl. You know what I'm saying? Got to get out that fishbowl. I think that's just the most, that's the, the biggest message. Yeah, it's getting out that fishbowl because when yeah. you explore more, you understand more. Yeah. And you only know what you was taught. Yeah, and you will find out more about yourself than you can even imagine. Like, Definitely. everybody, like I, I told you off camera about, you know, I had some homeboys that when I was in Europe, I used to, you know, I tell them, all the time, all these different experiences I had, and they just couldn't believe it. And I was like, man, when I get, when I finally get out of the military, the first thing I want to do is I want to take y'all boys over there and see sure. for yourself. Sure as hell, I took them over there, and they are, they are on completely different paths in life now. <laughs> completely different trajectory because they just opened them up. They're not taking so much from women in America because they know that there's more out there. There's more options. More options. And I'm talking about, and let me clarify this. The whole uh, hookup culture is different and as well as relationship-wise. Like I said, I had experience with, like I had serious relationships over there. I was young, but I, you know, it still was, compared to my relationships in the States, the whole uh, how they take care of you is night and day. And I know there are women who are like that. Like my, my sister, I grew up with, you know, mom and dad married in the house. And like my sister is the type of woman that like, you know, she cooking for you. She she's not a pushover by any means, mm -hmm. but you know she'll she'll be your support. She'll be your peace, and, and that more so that instead of you know nagging and this and that. And honestly, all of the women that I got serious relationships over there, that's what it was. It was like a breath of fresh air with them every time. It was uh, you know cooking for me. Just all the things that I was used to seeing growing up with my family. Maybe it just could be something for me, but. Like, that's what I go for. I'm really not trying to argue with you or, or do, you know, uh, battling with you every day. It's a new battle. I'm, I'm really not. I don't have to put up with that. I'm not for that. So I don't put up with it. So, so I just, like people say, I go up or I'm celebrated or I go where what I'm looking for is more abundant than the States. Some people like to get down like that and arguing with, a, you know, and all of that. Arguing so every day. Not me. So, so let me ask you this, man. And this is what uh, another one of my homegirls, we Hunt, was talking we was talking about, she was talking about the same video we just did. Um, and she, she said that long as you and, because matter of fact, she said she about to get married next week. And I told him, you can have fun with that because I travel too much. Ain't no woman going to marry me. Mm -hmm. And she said to me, that's not true. It just depends on the woman, what kind of understanding y'all have. I agree. And, and I mean, yeah. But you know what I'm going to tell you? You, you feel... Getting in these environments like this, like you'll be able to, to do the right thing. I mean, I knew you was about to say that because you were a little hesitant there. I was like, what would I do if I find a woman that's willing to, to I mean, travel? I, it'll, cut, it'll cut my fun in half, huh? That's what you was going with that. Now, I understand that. Um, so, during my time traveling, I have seen couples that travel. And I, I think it's dope as hell. And honestly, that is what led me to stop being a thought. And be like, you know what? How about I just, you know, I can get in a, a serious relationship with a woman and just take her around the world with me. And I did. And honestly, that, that was like some of the dopest times that I had. It was a completely different experience instead of running around, you know, on the apps, chasing these, you know, chasing the chicks down. But, um, yeah, it, but you got to be willing to do it. And that's another thing. I always, everybody who know me, I always, they know that I'm straight up. I'm a, off the bat. Like, if I'm, I'm going to tell you what, you know, what's my intention because, I've been around long enough to know that all of that shit that you be doing, it comes back. It might not come back tomorrow. It might not come back how you expect it, but it always come back. And I'm and I'm, I'm past that part of my life. And like I said, I'm a, I'm always straight up. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you, you know, what, what's up. So uh, there's no misinterpretation. Yeah. None of that. So we yeah. So so listen though, but this is the issue, man. So let's just say you got a girl from America and and you want to take her around the world to travel. You know mm -hmm. what I mean and. And I guess, I guess if y'all could really hang on to each other like that, man. But I'm going to be real. 
And my experience traveling in these countries just make me feel like, bro, like, they got to, I don't know, bro. It's hard, man. You ever heard the saying, take a sand to the beach? Yeah, yeah. See, it's like a damn buffet out here. That's why. That's that's what's coming out of you right now. You know it's a damn buffet. Nah, you really gonna have to. You gonna have to have that discipline as a you know as a man to if you want to do that. You don't have to, of course, because it is a life to be the single you know traveling dude. But um, yeah, it's going. So so you think you got that power to have that discipline? I've done it. I've done it, and it, it was dope. Um, yeah. I, so okay. Done. So you said you done it was dope. So where's that female now? Why y'all? So. Long so long story short, like I said, so I was in the army. I, it's a little personal, but uh, so I was in the army. Um, being in the army, I, I, I went in the, when I when I was eighteen, man, and uh, it's things that I realized afterwards that how the military affected me. So uh, me being in areas only for two or three years and me constantly moving over and over, it put baggage within me to not take people as serious or. I'm always thinking like, dang, well, in the next two or three years, I got to bounce and it won't work. Or I have my plans and I'm like, mm -hmm. she not matching up to the plan. So basically, long story short, man, when it was my time to go, I had plans to get out of the military and go to school, right? And uh, she, of course, she wanted to go with me. I would have liked for her to go with me. But at the time, I didn't have my plan. And I feel like that was a part of a, a part, a thing about being a man that wasn't developed within me yet, like I didn't have my plan, I didn't have my foundation, because I was going to go to college, like I can't, I knew she was coming over, she could speak English, but she couldn't, um, I knew I would have to support her, and how I grew up, I've always been supported, my father was always like, everybody was always good, and that's the only way I seen things, and from that time I learned that it's more, it's more options, like I, I could have did something else, I, I was just tunnel vision on just that way up that I was brought up, and I thought anything outside of that was wrong. So, like, I couldn't bring her. The only way she would have been able to come was if I would got married. And I, I was like 26 or 25. I just wasn't ready to get married. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do uh, after I graduated. I, it was just so much uh, stuff that wasn't certain for me. I didn't want to bring her over just to struggle. So, it, it didn't work out. But, I mean, I mean she's good now. I think she uh, she moved on, you know, no hard feelings. Um, but I, I definitely learned from that. Um, but you said something that uh, sparked something in my head that not only now I realize, but when I heard like old heads, like when I was in the military, I would get training from like older contractors. And one thing, how I know that what I'm saying is not bullshit and that's not from all these comments that y'all leaving, is the fact that uh, you don't want to, typically don't want to bring a woman from another country to America because if you think about it or if you know anybody who's done that the value of that woman it seems to plummet because she picks up the the negative side of the mm -hmm. things that how we do things in America nine times out of ten if you go find a German woman you married her because she was German you married her because she grew up different you married her because she treats you different if you mm -hmm. take that German woman and you go throw her in America's social cloud she's mm -hmm. going to become american so and when we talked about this earlier remember i was telling you about me moving out of the country for good was because of that like so so you think is, america that's why i call americanized so it have pretty much changed even a foreign woman into that language they talking in america so yes Ooh. how many people so my viewers out there how many people you know how many stories you heard of somebody bringing a woman from a foreign country coming over and uh, two, three years later, it's over. And she, <laughs> she, she down. She said, "Shit, I'm gonna stay here in America." And the dude, somewhat miserable, and she out there running around, or vice versa, a male, a woman go in Jamaica or some shit and go bring a male to the United States. It lasts for two or three, a little bit, and then he out there running around doing the America. The hell, not today, fiance. Y'all see it? Like, like when they come over here and they get up in this this American, they shit, it get, it get it's wild. over. But. At the same time, there are people who, you know, who had a mind together and who can stay themselves, but nine times out of ten, the majority, they kind of just Because it is that it, so, so, so I want to say this to you, and um, like TK acts, and I'm going to just break this down. It's almost like social media in a way. Social media don't take you out into other places, but it does in a way. Mm -hmm. The traditional relationship that our parents 
was in and they had problems there too, but it wasn't as bad. And the reason why, because everybody knew everybody in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So even traveling the world and not, not even traveling the world, but just social media and different chat sites in, and you got Tinder, you got, um, Facebook, um, got a chat site, all this, it's just so many games being played now. Like, it's almost like, I don't know, bro. Like, it's like, a, yeah, it's, I don't think social media is helping the dating game. Honestly. It's not helping at all. There's other ways social media is great for the world and like, you know, bringing attention to certain things. But as far as dating, I think it's it's not really helping, especially in America. It seems, I don't know. I don't even know. Why is it like this, America? It, it seems like we take some shit and we just, we just <laughs> overdo it. And it's just like overpowered yeah. and it's just tearing shit up. It's almost like we can't even think on our own. Nah. It's almost it's like group thing for sure. Group and that's thing. why, honestly, me personally, like I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get away. Like I said, within a year, bro, I will 100 percent be out of the country. For sure. So listen, my brother, this is about to get deep right here. And TK, listen. So, you know, I definitely, I'm letting, you know, what I'm saying this world traveler, you know, what I'm saying, see your message. And I definitely respect what you're saying, but he gonna give you his ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? you know, this, you know, this is this is a wild one right here. She said, "Awesome! I personally rededicated myself to Jesus Christ, and I have been celibate for ten years, and I am waiting for marriage." Let me tell you something. I give you a shout out on that one right there. I ain't gonna lie, TK. I give you the most of respect, and yo, and listen, don't take it personal because I was laughing. It's just wow, this world we live in. I, I don't know how you do it, but much love. Much respect. What do you say about that, my brother? Yeah, my name is TK, right? Yeah. yeah TK, definitely, that's that's like some unicorn shit nowadays. I, I definitely respect the, the discipline and um, drive to be able to come to knock out 10 years being celibate. Um, and I completely agree with you with the how uh, re, uh, women who are more tied into a religion sometimes can be more uh, submissive. I do think it's some truth in that. It's definitely not always the case, but it, it kind of, uh, it, it you put somebody over you, and that's kind of what some, being submissive is. It's not, I know one thing in America, women, most women in America seem submissive as being weak, but no, it's it's, it's not. It doesn't have anything to do with being weak. But uh, uh, the marriage part, TK, I'm like, that's, that's tough. I, 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 I can't imagine a man... <laughs> Who uh, is put together and know where he's going in life and know yeah, what he want. That's deep. Who's going to, you know, wait to have sex with you before marriage. Like, I know that's kind of like an old school thing, but that's really not what's going nowadays. Like, you got to ask yourself, what am I bringing with my 10 years being celibate and everything to the table that he can't get? from somewhere else and get ass. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm just being honest. That's how we dudes, we, we are very objective. You know what I'm saying? That's so that, that's just, you don't have to think about that. Like, what, why would he choose you he ain't gonna get no ass versus <laughs> this girl who's gonna give him some ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, the whole chastity thing, like, that's real big with men, 100%. Like, we don't, we really don't like women with a past, especially if we don't take her seriously. But, you know, if we want to just have fun, it doesn't matter. But for somebody like marriage and uh, maybe, you know, a, a long-term relationship, I understand, you know, it, it could help. But if you don't plan on giving him no ass <laughs> prior to, like, what, what's going to keep him around? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's something to, just something to think about. Don't, don't kill me. Just something to think about. Please. All right, TK. So I, I got your message right here. Here we go. Awesome. I personally rededicated myself to Jesus Christ. And have been celibate for 10 years and are waiting for marriage, which is very old school compared to the rest. I like the part about international women being submissive. Sometimes that has to do with religion, upbringing, or personal morals or values. Yes, I completely agree with you with that. And I think it's dope that you were able to, you picked up on that. Because like I said earlier, um, when you say the word submission to most American women, they see it as being weak. And then they go into the whole spill of... Uh, a weak man wants a submissive woman, and it's, that's not the case because, like I said before, it's, it all it always goes back to the nature of masculinity and femininity, and it's they they cohabitate. They're not the same; they're the opposite. That's what keep them. Y'all know the yin and the yang sign. They they constantly spinning. It's a perfect balance. That's what that is. Now, 
is also on the other end. I'm sure you guys seen relationships with like a masculine ass woman and a feminine ass man. Like it happened, but at the end of the day, it's still balanced. So continuing, here we go. Uh, sometimes that has to do with religious or bringing in personal morals or values. I was raised that men are to be the head of the household and to defer to men as women are the weaker vessel. And honestly, that teaching is just the balance. It's just one person in charge, you know, the whole, what I just explained. That's, the, that's through the Bible, that's what it is. That's uh, the easiest way to, uh, oh, excuse me. All right. So, and when, when should men respect and love women as themselves? With the amount of single women and mothers in America, which is, and I, I just think that's the, the saddest shit to see. Like, it's because it's, it's some really good women, they just they just choose wrong, bro. Like, like they say, men lie with their words, women lie with like their uh, their appearance because men being that we are very uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like to see the physical. Uh, yeah, we're very uh, physically in tune and uh, women you know they they fall in love we'll fall in love with how you look and women are falling in love with what we say so you got to be careful because a motherfucker will say anything to you and just like, a bunch of game on you and, and and women do the same thing that's why women wear makeup and all of this stuff because they're you know they know what attractive so you know how, how dudes find women attractive um but yeah, like i said it, it's sad but i mean it is what it is with the amount of single women and uh, mothers in America, I think society has programmed them to be more masculine and career-minded because they are the head of the household when they don't have a man. And yeah, it's kind of a result of when you don't have a man, are you choosing the wrong type of man and the, the, the dude just running off and doing what they have to do? The woman is kind of left there to be the mom and the, the dad. And I know women that's like that, and they're, they're great women, but it's just a result of those circumstances. Um. What was I? I think it's like, I'm not sure if you want to delve into religion, morals, and family values among different cultures, but that would be interesting too. I love how close international families keep. I love how close international families keep with each other compared to Americans. I have known hundreds of international friends and people I've met in passing. Great conversations and good questions. You are an awesome interviewer. That's all you, well, well, I'm going to say like this here, man, you know, and I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, my opinion on it, uh, and, and, I, and I definitely respect everything TK is saying, because I have told people that if you ever see me really settle down with a woman, mm -hmm. my first thought, honestly, is a Muslim woman. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I say that, because their religion taught them to cover themselves up and stuff like that. And listen... See, the problem I have with American women sometimes, and I understand you want to show your shape off, that's fine and all that, but sometimes some women go overboard with it. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I said I would rather well, settle down with a Muslim woman, and it's just my own opinion, is because they more, they religion taught them from what I can see and understand, and I could be wrong, but from what I see, that they cover themselves up, you know what I'm saying? The one that really on that teacher, and they respect their man, they man different mm -hmm. because of religion. Me personally, to go ahead and play in the field of the Americanized woman and what we're facing every day, bro, listen, honestly, bro, I, I'm, I'm too insecure. Yes, I am, women. I am too insecure and I'm straight up with it because I'm going to get jealous of my woman up in the club and she got the, you know what I'm saying, any man could just pull her dress right up and all that. I'm not playing them games. Mm -hmm. And the problem with I have faced that, <clears throat> if I tell a woman how I feel, Oh man, you insecure, this and that, and they gonna do it anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather be single and I just mingle. Like it is what it is. In the water with that. Yeah. And they'll, they'll go after you. Now I understand that. This, I mean, it's a lot of men out there like that. But honestly, the fact that you know it and identify, I think that says a lot because a lot of men will just get into relationships and don't know that, or they'll get into relationships and exude that, and it kind of destroys the relationship in a way. Well, well, I be I feel like this is honesty is the key. I'm not playing it, bro. See, that's what I'm saying. That's and, I think that's number one, bro. Honesty is the key. Let me tell you, a female told me I was telling her. She said I told her straight up that I'm not gonna play certain things when it comes to woman. She said, "Well, good luck with that." <laughs> I said, "Well, I'm single, and guess what? I, I I'm not lonely, so I'm good." Mm -hmm. The problem is I don't have to have a woman with me every day just to feel satisfied. Like some men. Oh, man, I need somebody laying by me every night. Now, if it ain't the right person laying by me, I'll lay in my bed myself. That's what I'm saying. But it take, 
it take time because I, I I was I think we all were like that at a point in time where you feel like you needed somebody, but I, I guarantee you the time in your life where you just had to be alone or you was alone for an extended period of time and you got comfortable with being alone and it kind of just opened up doors for you in that in that aspect like you not you not ex overextending yourself mm -hmm. or taking shit just to get this woman to be on your on your team or whatever. So once okay. you find that that peace within yourself and you find that foundation to like I'm I'm always good, you know what I'm saying? No matter where I go, I got self love. Always good self love, yeah. Well, that, well, well, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you something, man. Me personally coming up in life, uh I always was the type of person I stayed to myself anyway. Mm -hmm. Ever since I was a young kid coming up, I used to go I used to go to the restaurant by myself. I remember in New Jersey, mm -hmm. and I used to go there and just sit by myself and eat. That was always my personality. That's interesting. And when I even was a kid, I used to wander in the woods by myself. Now you tripping. But, <laughs> but but you know what though? The crazy thing about it now, I just not wandering in the woods when I was a kid. Now I got access across the world. Oh, so now that's what's taking me in a different parts of the world because I still got that mentality. Mm -hmm. So my thing is when I took a chance in a relationship. My biggest issue I had was the communication part when it came to the woman. Mm -hmm. Can I say she was a bad woman? Not at all. I want to say she was a bad woman. I think at the same time, maybe I could have get her to communicate a little better if I had to look at more ways to satisfy her more. Mm -hmm. But me, myself, as a man, I can't pretend. Yeah. Because a lot of things that women are looking for is me getting to know myself. Maybe that wasn't was what, what I wasn't looking for. For example, the more being submissive that she wanted a ring on her finger. Mm -hmm. As a man, I didn't do that. Now wait, because wait, you said she wanted in, in order for you to marry her. No, no, she wanted a ring. You know how oh, the okay. American teach teach them that. It's a timeline, like a oh, time. Two years, a uh, year. Yeah, yeah. We, it's time to get married. It's time, time to get time. married. So, me myself as a man, I take it as like, and me and this woman still cool till this day. No, no disrespect, but you know everything is good because I respect the fact that what maybe she was looking for in life. Was just different from what you were What I was looking for, but I had to learn this in this process. Mm -hmm. So that's where my realness come at in life right now. I'm not going to play with nobody. Mm -hmm. And if I ever ready to get settled down with a woman, I know what kind I'm looking for and where my mind is at. Because I'm not confused, not just what's out there, but I'm not confused with who I am as a man also. Mm -hmm. So life has just taught me a valuable lesson. So I'm grateful for the lesson that it have taught me, yeah. even into trying relationships and, and, and just... It basically built my mindset to a point that I won't say I'm numb to relationships, but it's like if you're looking for a certain thing, be straight up with the woman because honestly, you know enough now of what the average woman is looking for. Yeah. So let's see where her head is at. And if she there with you, y'all roll with the flow. And if she not there with you, let her go. Nah, yeah. Instead of keeping her around and just, you know, toying with her. Yeah. Like I said, stuff like that always come back. But I'm sure you might have had an, an example of, so after you got to that point, let's say you got the woman, and you see that she really not seeing the same picture as you like, yeah. in, in life, and you tell her, like, straight up, you know, this is what it is. She agree with you, but she tries to spite you, and she like, well, I know that he, he wants to be single, but I feel like I can make him want me. And they'll basically just stand there and suffer as they try and change how you feel. Like, I've had that happen to me a couple yeah, times. Yeah. I'm, I'm, it's a very common thing when a woman, because I hate to say it, but a lot of women think that they are the exception or they are special enough to just change you. Some, in some and cases ladies, it is, but every single woman thinks that. Like, it's been so many times where when I was in my thought, you know, thought was prime, I was, you know, trying to be single and I would tell these girls that, but they would be like, oh no, um, I'm going to make you my boyfriend, I'm gonna make you want me to. I'm gonna make you want to change your life, and, and well, ladies, at the end of the same every time. Let me tell y'all, ladies, something. I don't care how good you think that good good is. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? If a man mind ain't on that level, it just ain't gonna be on that level. Even if he pretending you because he want his cake and eat it too. Let me let me tell you what I mean. His cake and eat it too. He wants you, and he don't want nobody else to have you. So what he do is he pretend to you that he going to be with you, tell you everything you want to hear, and you swear he the man of your dreams. But little do you know he playing a bunch of games behind your back too because he really not ready to be settled, but he don't want nobody else to have you. And that's what happened in a lot of situations. And I just got to be honest, that's why even in America, it's a lot of broken marriages and a lot of broken homes because people really not who they say they are. Yeah. 
it's it's that's an and that's the flip side of you know they we saying we bashing American girls. American guys be on that same bullshit sometimes too. Um, but the the difference between guys and girls is that of course the guy is the one to go after the girl. So we will literally adapt to whatever y'all wanting or whatever y'all are uh, requirements you giving for the guy to do. Bro, we gonna we are gonna adapt, and the men here are only a result of us adapting to the requirements that women are given. And it brings me back to when I went to Europe or when I left the country and was dating elsewhere, I had the mentality that I had to play these games and those women showed me that I didn't have to play those games. I just, all I had to do was be straight up. And then, you know, I, I caught on to it, I adapted, and it was the it was the it was the bomb. It was the shit. Like I, I really enjoyed my time there. When I had to bring my monkey ass back and I mm. come over here like Basically, with no shield, I come over here being straight up with these women. Like I struggled for a couple of months because I was mm. so used to letting it be what it is that it, it just—it was just a different game, and I had to—I had to adapt again and go back to the bullshit. Like we talked about it before, or I just got your number, or I can't—I can't text her now. I have to text her in three three hours because if I text her now, she gonna think I'm thirsty, or if I text her now, she gonna think that. I think she more valuable than me, and then she can just turn me into a goddamn fan. When well, well, well like, I'm gonna tell you like this right here, man, and that and that's crazy too because me and the brother was talking about that, and I was because he he another one looked at the video, okay, and I said to him, bro, like, and I think that's how a lot of women do lose out on a good man too because they don't know <clears throat> rather this man is thirsty or he might be just a good man. Mm -hmm. And from experience in my past, I think I was pretty decent to a woman that I dealt with for years. Okay. And I actually called this woman before she even made it home. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Before she even made it home. This was years and years ago. Okay. And we had last a long time. You know what I'm saying? We had our problems. But I don't feel that you should judge a man off just because he called you, you know what I'm saying, a couple hours later. Maybe he's just that interested. I mean, don't that's think that... Game. I don't know how it got like that, but that's just what it is. Like, the whole... like. You don't need game over there. Like, the game, like, that's just some American shit. Yeah, like, American stuff, it's bro. It's just mind games. Like, yeah. the game is just mind games. That's it. And once you leave this social, United States social cloud and you go somewhere else, it's not like that. Like I said, if people just really trying to, if they interested in you, it's just going to be that. It's, it's just going to be as simple as that. Yeah, it's Ain't got to play these games to see where your head is really yeah, at. But you got to get out. <clears> got to get out to see. That is the thing. And, and, and to go back to the, the dudes that's saying about the, it's the good American women. Like, I understand that, but I'm saying, bro, it's, you can't even imagine what I'm talking about because it's so different outside of America. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Well, I'm going to tell you the truth, and I'm going to end this video like this. Yeah, hey, bro, I couldn't even believe it when I got out of America. Mm -hmm. Boy, listen, when I saw the other side of the globe, I say no way in a million years. I thought I've been dreaming, you know. Welcome to Worldwide Traveling Off the Beaten Path News with Mr. Midas, the king of travel. Let's tour the world from resorts to some of the most dangerous hoods. Don't y'all want to see how the locals live? Let's travel.